So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mesco 112 Collective DC Deathstroke. So let's get into it right away and start off with the box. So we do get the same style box that we got with Mesco's Deadpool. So we do get the slope cover here and on the top of it says Deathstroke. On the center we do get the Deathstroke logo. On the bottom says 112 Collective and DC. And then on the bottom of the actual box here we do get the warning blah 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 soap nobody cares about. And then the top of the box here says 112 Collective post play display. And then on both sides of the slip cover it's the same thing. It says 112 Collective on the top. Deathstroke logo at the center, and then Mesco Toys at the bottom, and then on the back of the slipcover on the bottom of it, we do get some very nice promo images of the figure, then we do get an image of Deathstroke, along with all of his accessories. Then once you remove the slipcover here, we do have a nice large window displaying the figure and the accessories, looking pretty damn awesome, and then on both sides of the box here, this is 112 Collective, and then on the back here, we do get a very large image of the Mesco Toys logo, but anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure up and take a closer look at this badass looking Deathstroke. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look and once again, Mezco did do a phenomenal job when it comes to the detail with these 112 figures. One of my favorite parts about this Deathstroke is definitely that badass mask. This thing just looks so sick. The detail just done all throughout it looks insane and I love that they made his one left eye red and i do like the black paint that's around the red as well i dig the way that looks and another thing i really love about this figure is what they did with the orange paint they gave it like a weathered type look it's not just orange they added like some gray or black all throughout it to make it look like he's been using his armor for a while so i really love the way that turned out and then the blue paint looks pretty cool too they do have like some like a charcoal black or a silver mixed in with the blue and then we do have like some battle damage right there and just the sculpt of his mask looks fantastic. And where the orange meets the blue, nice, clean paintwork. And then I like the way the uh, black part looks around his jaw and chin. I think that looks pretty cool. And clean paintwork where that meets the, uh, the blue and the orange there. And then it continues to the back. Beautiful paint sculpt all throughout it. One little minor issue or minor complaint I do have with this Deathstroke. I do wish we got his two straps on the back of his mask there. That's one thing... I really like about his character design. I really dig the way the straps look. So, do wish Mezco included it, but they they just do their own like little designs sometimes when it comes to these figures. But uh, very cool, uh, very cool looking head sculpt right there. And then you can see some nice sculpt work on the neck on the skin tone right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they did a good job with it. And then for the torso here. The armor on the upper half of the torso just looks great. I love the way the orange paint looks. Nice clean paint where the blue meets the orange. And then we get battle damage all throughout his armor, all throughout the figure. It looks like most of them are sculpted and painted, but I've noticed a few of them are just painted on, like this one here, and I believe that one, and that one. So I don't know if that's with, with that with all figures or if it's just with mine. It's a minor little issue that I did notice there, but uh, they did miss uh, some silver paint and some of the battle damage up there as well. But I mean, they really did a fantastic job on the armor right on the front there. Very nice sculpt and paint, and we do get the midsection armor that does have some a lot of battle damage as well. Looks like a lot of people are trying to stab him in his stomach there. So uh, they did a good job with that, and then I love the way the brown straps look. The brown straps going down the midsection and then on the side of the torso, and I love that they added like a wash or a shading on the brown straps it really makes makes those pieces look that much better on the figure then we do get some more straps going along the shoulders there beautiful paint and sculpt all throughout them and then I do like the way his armor looks around his neck it is a softer type plastic it's not extremely soft but it is a, a bit of a soft plastic there and I really like the way that looks and then continuing to the back we get some more battle damage on the blue and orange pieces, nice clean paint where the blue and orange meet and everything. And then the straps on the back look good. So, And then these do too. They do have the shading as well. So, And I do like the texture that they put on the brown straps there. Dig the way that looks. And then he does have a black undershirt. And they did a good job with it. You can see a little bit of the stitching on the back and his butt crack there. And then you do see some running down the side of the torso. And then on the sleeves and then up around the shoulders as well. One issue about the black uh, cloth clothing here, if you look on my left one, it is twisted around the forearm, so that does bug me a little bit. It should look like 
how the right arm looks. So I don't know why mine turned out like that. Like I said, it does irritate me a bit. Now we do get his shoulder armor. I do like the way the left one looks more compared to the right one. But the right one looks sick. They did a great job with the battle damage. Nice paintwork with the orange and blue there. And then the left one has those like smoke grenades or something all in uh, little holsters. And then we do get like a buckle over there and everything. More battle damage on the blue. Beautiful paint and sculpt on these pieces though. I really dig the way that looks. So really cool looking smoke grenades and uh, left shoulder armor there. Then we do get the gauntlets or forearm armor. And once again, we do get the cool battle damage with the silver paint. And then the orange and blue paint turned out really good and nice sculpt on them as well. And then on the waist here, we get some great sculpt and paint detail all on these pouches for his belt, especially the two in the front. I love the sculpted wrinkles on them where the black meets the brown on all the pouches, nice clean paintwork. And just, just a tiny detail on these just look insane. Really great job on those pouches there. But then running down the right leg, we do get a strap, which connects to a holster. And the holster itself just looks sick. Really great job on that. Love the way that turned out. And then we do get a strap going around the leg. And I do like how they painted the buckle black and everything. So I really dig the way that looks. And the lower half for the pants of Deathstroke here. It is a two-toned blue. Then you do see a little bit of stitching running down the crotch there and then the sides of the legs. And then you don't see any on the sides of the legs or on the outside of the legs or anything. So good job uh, on the pants there. And then for the lower legs here, we do get some more awesome sculpted and great paint detail on the armor. We get the uh, battle damage and then nice clean paint where the orange meets the blue and everything so really dig the way that looks and then the armor on his feet you can articulate and i love that mesco did that with this figure so definitely big plus right there then we do get a few straps on the back of his lower legs there and those, those straps even look awesome and then we do actually get some battle damage on his uh, shoes as well as boots on the feet and then we do get a strap going along the top of his foot there. And you can see some more battle damage on the top of his foot. Just beautiful sculpt and paint all throughout this figure. And then we do get some cool looking treads on the bottom there. So overall, I think they killed it once again with the detail on another 112 figure. And Mesco is really doing an excellent job with this 112 line. And this Deathstroke, I feel like they ended the year with a bang just releasing this in the last few days of December. But anyway... Let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we get a bunch of really great stuff included with Slade Wilson. One thing I do wish that they included, though, was a knife, because I do know Deathstroke does use a knife a lot, and I do wish we got a few more interchangeable hands. But what we do get with Deathstroke, we do get two alternate heads, so we do get this one on the left. That does come on the figure out of the packaging that we did take a look at before. And this is my favorite out of the two. They just really did a superb job with this one. I just wish... They have the two little straps coming out the back of the head right there because Deathstroke usually does have that most of the time. But they did an excellent job with the masked head there. Then we do get the unmasked one. And they did, I believe, even a better job with this one. The face sculpt looks great. That just looks like Deathstroke to me. And the eye patch turned out really good. Nice clean paint on the eye patch and the strap for the eye patch. I don't see any paint bleeding anywhere on the skin tone. Or the hair there so they really did an excellent job with that and then the beard looks good nice paint and sculpt all throughout it and i do like the shading that they put on the beard and the hair and we do get a little bit of stubble around the jawline right there as you can see on both sides then we do get some sculpted wrinkles like on the forehead around the cheeks and mouth and everything and i do like the darker shade of paint that they put in all these sculpted wrinkles even in, in between the eyes as well and just really great job all around on the uh, face sculpt right there and the ears and then nice clean paint where the color of the hair meets the skin tone, and then great sculpt and beautiful shading all throughout the hair. Just excellent job all around on this uh, head sculpt right here. And the way you interchange his heads, very simple when it comes to mezcal. All you do is just pop it on the ball peg right there, and then when you want to take it off, just pull up to pop it right off. So simple as that. So we do get those two alternate heads, and then we also get two different guns. So we do get the handgun here, which... Mesco always does a fantastic job when it comes to accessories like weapons and stuff. And the clip does come separately out of the packaging, so you can take it out. And they did a good job with the bullet, the paint sculpt and everything. And then you just pop it right in there, and it stays in there very well, unlike the Deadpool figure's gun. Really dig the way this pistol looks, and it does go in his holster 
right on his hip and it fits in there very well it doesn't fall out or anything like that so really great job on the pistol then we do get the larger gun here which i have no idea what it is because i am not a gun expert but they did a beautiful job with the paint sculpt on it it looks like i got a little too much of that orange line kind of going off a little bit there but really not that big of a deal they, they did an awesome job with the paint sculpt on it and i kind of like the weathered look to it and here and there on certain spots really cool looking got some battle damage all throughout here and everything and you can remove the clip you can see the bullets sculpted and painted painted in there so really awesome job with that and just dope dope looking uh, gun here very nice detail all throughout it so we do get the two guns and then we also get his sword and then we do get a sheath with a strap on it and the sword is definitely my favorite accessory i love the way the blade turned out it is very sharp so be careful of that but i just love the paintwork for the blade there and i love the added black on the end of the blade i think that looks pretty cool just be careful around this part i feel like that could break easily so just be weary with that and i do like the orange lines around the cross guard and the end of the handle there and the handle does look pretty cool too so really Beautiful job on the sword right there. That just looks sick. So we do get the sword. Then we do get the sheath for the sword with a strap on it. And the sword fits in there perfectly. It doesn't fall out or anything. So that is definitely good. But great job on the sheath there. I don't know if that's battle damage or a uh, minor little paint mess up there. And then we do get the strap. And they did a beautiful job with the strap here. It is a softer type of plastic as you can see there. But I love the way... It looks here with all the buttons sculpted and painted on there. And then I love the pouches over here. Really great job on those. I do like the black wash that they put in the brown as well. And just beautiful tiny detail on those pouches. And the way you get it on, it just pegs into a little peg right there. And it's very simple to get it on. You just wrap it around his chest there. You could probably put it on either side. I don't think it matters. But in the promo images, they do have it. On this side see how easy it is to peg right on there and wrap it around the figure so it's not a pain in the arse to do it so we do get the sword with the sheath and strap and then we finally get a mezco bag and i almost forgot to go over this stuff so you can store your accessories in here personally i just like to leave them in the packaging but some people do like to put them in the bag so pretty cool that they included that and then of course we do get the mezco stand and they always have the most badass stands for their figure i love the paintwork on there of the deathstroke logo turned out really cool we do have a peg right there in case you would like to peg the figure on the base here and then if you want to make the stand just unpeg the peg right there with the stand and then peg it into the top you guys know how this works so it does swivel at the bottom hinges at the bottom hinges at the middle hinges at the top swivels at the clamp and then also hinges at the clamp so we do get that and then we finally get six interchangeable hands and like i said before i do wish they included a few more interchangeable hands like a pair of open hands and i do wish we got a pair of trigger finger hands we only get one right trigger finger hands so we do get a pair of fists of course which come on they figure out of the packaging beautiful sculpt and paint all throughout these i like i see the seam on the thumb right there and even on the index finger but nice paintwork on the uh, orange plate of armor right there. And then we do have battle damage on it. You can see the seam running down the pinky in the side of the hand. And we do get some sculpted wrinkles around the, the wrist as well. So really excellent job on the fist. And all his hands, very simple to interchange. So we get a pair of those. And then we do get a pair of gripping hands, which is meant for him to grip onto a sword that he does hold onto very well. And beautiful sculpt and paint. All throughout the gripping hands here especially on the plate of armor on the top of the hand so we do get a pair of those and then finally we get a right trigger finger hand and then like a left gripping hand which is meant for him to grip on to the other end of the gun and they did a great job with these you get some sculpted wrinkles on the inside of the hand there on the palm and then the, the plate of armor looks pretty cool too with the battle damage and everything but like i said i do wish we got a pair of trigger finger hands and then a pair of open hands would have been pretty cool too but anyway that is all the accessories included with the terminator let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we we shall now for the height of slade wilson to the top of his head it looks like he's just shy of six and a half inches tall and then here he is compared to the mafex batman begins batman the sh figure arts the dark knight batman the sh figure arts justice league batman and the mesco 112 joker 
And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, the Suicide Squad Deadshot, the Good Smile Company Figma Deadpool, and the Misco 112 Tiger Stripe Wolverine. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Misco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review! So now for all the articulation, we do have two joints at the neck, which is definitely good. The upper neck joint is on like a barbell type joint, so you can get death stroke to look up about that much. It does get hindered a bit by this neck armor here. And then with the upper neck joint, you can get him to look down about that much, which is pretty good. And then we do get some very nice pivot there. And then of course, it does swivel the lower neck joint does go forward and back a decent amount so with both joints he'll only be able to look down about that much gets hindered by the neck armor and then same with getting him to look up and then we do get a tiny bit of pivot there and then it does swivel as well so we do get some good movement at both the neck joints just gets hindered a bit by this uh, big neck armor piece right there now for the torso here we do have a joint right under the chest but it does get hindered a bit by the armor so you can get death stroke to crunch forward with the torso joint about that much and then goes back to really not too much just a tiny bit uh, we do get a little bit of pivot at that joint there and then it does swivel pretty good up there as well now for the waist here just goes forward and back a tiny bit so with both joints you'll be able to get the stroke to crunch forward that much unless he can go forward even more but I can't get my figure to go forward any further than that and then he does go back a really good amount with both joints there and then the waist does have a tiny bit of pivot and then I can't get it to swivel at all at the waist because I believe the waist joints you can't get them to swivel you can only get the swivel at the torso there I could be wrong though maybe my joints just stuck now for the arms here at the shoulders we do have a butterfly joint there and then the arms do go out to the sides if you tuck the armor under the strap there on the shoulder they can go out to the sides a little less than 90 degrees they do go up and down and you can get it up a lot further than 90 degrees I don't like pushing it too far because it is cloth that they do have on so just be careful of that uh, we do have bicep swivel, we have a double jointed elbow that bends in a little more than 90 degrees, and we do get just a tiny bit of swivel at the uh, forearm there, and then we do have a ball hinge on the wrist, so it does swivel, and then hinges back and forth. Now for the legs here, you can get death stroke to kick forward about 90 degrees, which is good, goes to the back a decent amount, and then his legs doing the splits, they can go out pretty much 90 degrees, so that is definitely good, then we do have a nice thigh swivel up there we have double jointed knees that bend back about 90 degrees and then at the boot it can just slightly swivel and then the armor pieces on the top of the foot I believe are on a ball joint so you can move them all around so that's a big plus right there then for the ankles they do swivel they only hinge up a tiny bit barely any up movement there it does go down a little bit and then we do get some Pretty damn good pivot with this death stroke. I feel like this is the best ankle pivot that I've seen with the Mezco 112 figure. So I feel like they are listening to the fans with the ankle movement. But the up and down movement still isn't the best. But the pivot, I feel like, is much better on this figure here compared to other Mezco 112 figures. So overall, I think we do get some nice movement with this death stroke. Some points do get hindered, but other points don't get hindered so you're gonna be able to get them in some good terminator like poses and I'm about to show you some of them right about now but anyway that is my review of the Mesco 112 collective deathstroke hope you enjoyed it if I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10 I'd have to give it a 9.5 if you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure I did get mine from agelessgeeks.com not sure if he still has it in stock he might be getting some more in but I'm not 100% sure of that and don't forget when you do buy something from Ageless Geeks, to enter in code name daredevil and you will get yourself a 5% off discount I will put more information in the description below and if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome but thanks for watching i will see you later
So we do get the same style box that we got with Meth. We do get the slip cover here, and on the slip cover on the front, we do get the uh, blah, blah blah. Damn it. We do have the Deathstroke logo, I believe, on the front of the box and the bottom of the blah, 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 blah. So we do get the slip cover here, and then on the front of it says Deathstroke on the top. We do get the blah, 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 blah. and then the bottom of the box here does have the barcode and blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Never mind, there is no barcode. Just meant to say the warning blah 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 stuff. Damn it! And then on the bottom of the actual box here, we do get the blobbly blooby and blue blob chippity chippity choo stuff that nobody really gives a beep about. And then the bottom of the actual blah. And then the back of the box, on the bottom of it, we do get a very, we do get a blah 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 On the top, we do get a cool image of the figure along with all of his, all of his blah 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 blah. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open to the cake. Doesn't fall out or anything like that, so a really cool job with that. Really cool job with that. What the hell? What the hell am I talking about? Most badass stands. I do like the way this looks here. We do get the Deathstroke logo, I believe. And then, of course, we do get the Mesco stand. So we do have the base here, which is the, uh, the... Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review.